Good morning, everyone. Uh, Abby, thank you for letting me be a part of this this morning and share um, the news about Cloud Foundry Enterprise Environment. We are announcing general availability available on the IBM Cloud. And uh, it is a, an exciting delivery, a, a dis exciting offering on our cloud. Um, keeps us as a member of the, the Cloud Foundry Galaxy, of which we're very proud to be uh, part of that galaxy. Um, Cloud Foundry Enterprise Environment is a full Cloud Foundry stack delivered on Kubernetes on the IBM Cloud uh, with full admin capabilities. And so I want to show it to you today, this morning. Uh, earlier this year, uh, earlier this year, Don Bulia gave you a, uh, a preview into Cloud Foundry Enterprise Environment on the IBM Cloud. And so I'm going to show um, today, take, since it is live on the cloud, I'm going to do a live demo. I'm actually going to provision, self-provision Cloud Foundry on our cloud. And I'm going to push an app to it. And so um, as all things with live demos, hopefully this will go well. So um, in the IBM, in the cloud catalog, you know, Cloud Foundry Enterprise Environment, you'll see there. Um, very easy to provision an environment that is wholly um, belongs to an organization. One of the important things that our enterprise organizations and clients are telling us is the ability to have their applications, their critical production applications, isolated in the public cloud from others. And Cloud Foundry Enterprise Environment provides that level of isolation um, it's, when you go to provision, you see over here on the right, uh, there's a cost calculator, so you know what your, what your um, environment's going to cost you. Um, there's a set of permissions on the cloud that are pre-checked for you, so you know that your um, provisioning will be successful here. So I'm going to fire one up here quick, and then I'm going to do the cooking show um, method and let this run and go to one that I've already provisioned. So I give it a name. It's as simple as giving it a name. Um, it's available in the IBM Cloud regions. I'm just going to stick with North America here. And I'm going to take the default here. I'm going to provision two cells in my environment. And in the infrastructure here, what's going to happen when I click Create is the cloud will automatically provision the infrastructure the Cloud Object Store, the Postgres Data Store, and Kubernetes, which is hosting um, this Cloud Foundry stack. So we're deploying on a Kubernetes infrastructure, and then the full Cloud Foundry stack. And this will give you a progress um, that you can com we'll come back to and see how um, my CF Summit environment is provisioning. So right now, it's creating the infrastructure, the Postgres instance. And this will take a while. So like I said, I'm going to use the cooking show model here and uh, go to an environment that I've previously provisioned. So one nice thing about the, the cloud, um, there's a dashboard here for where you can manage all of your Cloud Foundry environments. So like I said, it is a full Cloud Foundry stack with full admin control. And so you can see these are all the environments that I have access to that I can provision to, get insights into. So um, here on the dashboard, I can see what the memory utilization of my nodes are looking like, what my uh, capacity and, and my apps running in the environment. So I am going to push an app to this environment. So I get my endpoint here. And I'm going to um, push this app from my laptop to the cloud. So log in. Uh, get my passcode here quickly. 
Oops. Okay, I get authenticated. Now I see within my Cloud Foundry environment here, I've got two orgs. I'm going to choose the Summit org. I've got a space called Hello. And I'm going to um, push my app that I've previously Now you can see here as this scrolls through that um, for many of you that are Cloud Foundry app developers, which I imagine a lot of you in the room here are, this is standard Cloud Foundry. It's the Cloud Foundry experience that you all know and love. Um, it's uh, same on um, portability. You know, as Abby said, portability across clouds being important. That's a key factor here for Cloud Foundry and the IBM Cloud as well. So this, um, it's Cloud Foundry just as Cloud Foundry is everywhere else. So we'll go see how our app is doing. We've integrated the Stratus console here. Um, shout out to our SUSE colleagues for this. This has been a, a very nice addition to the overall experience here of Cloud Foundry on the, IB, on the cl IBM Cloud. And the app is still starting. So one thing that once this app gets started, um, one of the services that I'm going to use is the IBM Watson text-to-speech service. And so uh, when, I get, when the app starts here, I'll give it a minute. Here we go. So we've made it very easy to integrate with Stratos. You notice I didn't have to log in again. It's all integrated single sign-on from the IBM Cloud. Um, and So there you have it, Cloud Foundry Enterprise Environment. Give it a try, thank you. Thank you, that's awesome.